Hi, I'm Monica Piaz Rodriguez. I'm a personal trainer, and today's video is for my ISSA Strength and Conditioning Certification. I'm focusing on bodybuilding. Um, as an athlete and as a competitor myself, I know exactly what it takes. Uh, so today I am focusing as if I were training a bikini competitor. However, I am standing in as my own client. Um, as a bikini competitor, the most important parts uh, are the shoulders and the glutes. So for today's workout, we are focusing on glutes. We are doing isolation exercises um, to really target that muscle. So we're going to start with a warm-up, and then um, it's going to be a mobility warm-up. Then we're going to get onto the working set, and then finish off with uh, some stretching. All right, so we are starting with mobility warm-ups. Um, basically, it's warm-ups of exercises that you will be using in your actual working set, just getting the muscles ready, getting um, everything warmed up and ready to go. I am starting with hip thrusts, or also known as glute bridges. This is gonna be my first um, major movement of my working set so I'm just doing it with body weight getting um, all my muscles activated in my glutes I am moving on next with um, crab walks really activating my glutes I like to touch the area in which I'm activating um, it makes me visually kind of get that muscle to mind connection I'm using a band to really get those muscles warmed up and ready for my glute workout. And the last of the mobility warm up is going to be air squats. I'm also using the band for this so that I have a little bit more resistance and really get the muscles warmed up. Now that the mobility warm up is done, I'm starting with my actual working set. I started with barbell hip thrusts. This is a great exercise to really activate the glutes. You want to make sure to keep your chin tucked into your chest and just squeeze up at the top as hard as you can and then come back down. I have started without any weight just to kind of get my muscles ready, get myself ready for the movement, and then I will start on adding weights. Now we're going to start with the first actual working set. Um, I added some weight to it. I'm focusing more on volume this time around. On my off season, I was um, working more on loads, higher, I'm sorry, higher loads. Um, higher weight, less reps, but now that I'm currently in season getting ready to compete, I'm working more on volume. So I'm going to be doing about 10 to 12. If I can do those kind of easily, I'll probably will add a little bit more weight until um, I'm able to only get 10. I start off very light uh, and then I will go adding weights accordingly. Something that I always tell my clients is to keep a workout journal. This is something that I also do. Force yourself to always challenge yourself with weights and um, maybe try to go five pounds heavier the next time, things like that. So I think it's something that's very, very important to keep a workout journal. So as you saw, I was able to do 12 reps with that weight. So I added 10 pounds to each side and um, I'm gonna try to see how many I can do. Next exercise is the leg curl. As a bikini competitor, a lot of what the judges are looking for is that glute ham tie-in um, or the diamond, like some of us like to call it. And this is a great exercise to really target your hamstrings. Um, it's great, it isolates it. And because you're laying down, it's um, 
you're not using any momentum or any other parts of your body, just strictly using your hamstrings, which is a great, great exercise. Our final exercise for this glute workout is going to be hip extensions. Um, these are targeting the glutes. If, if you notice, I'm not going all the way back. That's how you would target your lower back. I'm kind of keeping it a little bit, um, my back a little bit curved. That way you really feel it in your glutes. I'm also adding some weight. Uh, this is a great exercise, again, to really target and isolate your glute muscle. If you notice, I'm taking a rest pause. My muscles have reached a point of fatigue, so I take about three breaths and then try to complete the set. That is the end of my strength training portion. In order to recover and cool down, I spend about five to 10 minutes on the bike. This is a great low impact cardio that allows to keep our joints healthy, which is very important as a bodybuilder. After the bike, I focus on stretching the targeted muscle, which in today's case is the glutes. I will hold the stretch for about five to 10 seconds. Another very important tool in my cool down is foam rolling. I use a Roomba roller to aid in the myofascia release. This allows to improve blood flow to the tissue that was worked. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed my glute workout and don't forget to hydrate. Bye.